traveling we're gonna give it a go in between lockdowns uh, we're currently at Crowdy Bay National Park just uh, an hour away from where we live so we've traveled far uh, we're gonna give it a go it's the first time traveling full-time with a family of four so we're still getting into our groove we're uh, I think we're three days three days four, into, days. four days into it now um, so yeah this is it, we're going to explore Crowdy Bay and then try and get down a bit further south to Booty Booty National Park and Mile Lakes. But um, yeah, we'll show you what we get up to here. So we backed the caravan up into our large grassy green site, set up, got the kids out, cracked the fire up, got a few beers and uh, waited for Elena to grace us with her cooking skills. Yeah. What are we having for dinner? We're having potato and mint. Awesome. Good cheese. And top it off with some spring onion. So we're attempting to do the headland track. 1.5 hours. And all these. We'll see how long this goes.
What do you reckon of the walk? It was good. <laughs> Would have been easy without the kids, but it was nice for them to see. So it's a beautiful walk, yeah, actually. How many k's did we do? Apparently, we did 5.7k. Flights climbed 26. 5.7k's. <laughs> we did it. Whales, plenty of beach, Snake. lots of coastline, snakes. <laughs> <laughs> we're, going snacks. A, we're going to have a sit down. <laughs> so we spent the remaining days down at the beach making sandcastles with the boys and swimming in the ocean, really relaxing into our new lifestyle of travelling with the two boys. Then we arrived at Kylie's Beach Campground, which is about 15 minutes south of Diamond Head Beach. You pull up onto an open, grassy area where you find your own spot for the night and set up camp. It has cold showers and drop toilets, similar to Diamond Head Beach. There's a lot of wildlife there. <coughs> Where are we off to today, doll? Um, we're going to Metcalf's Wharf and then on the way to Kylie's Hut. Another walk, eh? Yep. See how far we make it this time. <laughs> we're not too sure, but we just walked in. I think this is Kylie's Hut, but I'm not too sure well, what's left of it. It does say Ashet's damaged by bushfires and we had bushfires come through here a little while ago so I'm thinking they might have got smashed in the fires so we might uh what do you reckon we go to a picnic area and have some lunch sounds good Then we moved on to the most southern campground of the Crowdy Bay National Park, which was called Crowdy Gap Campground. A beautiful little campground um, with allocated sites and small little fire pits. Also cold showers and drop toilets. Then we made our way to the Crowdy Bay Lighthouse, which is where we'll leave you for this episode. So don't forget to like and subscribe for our upcoming travels around Australia with our two boys. We hope you liked it and we'll see you next time.